Okay, say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. So, you want to chat? Yeah. So, tell me this. Is Daddy hard on you? Yes. Is Coach Justin hard on you? Yeah, but he tells us what to fix and stuff. Daddy doesn't tell you what to fix? Yes. You want Daddy to stop being hard on you? Yes. Do you want Coach Justin to stop being hard on you? Yeah. Okay, do you want Coach Anya to stop being hard on you? Coach Anya doesn't be hard on me. She's not hard on you? No. Why? I don't know. Because she's new. She's still getting to know you. Was Coach Virginia hard on you? Like before? Yeah, before she had to move? Yes. Coach Virginia was hard on you? Yes. How do you think you got so good, Jaden? Because you have people, you have multiple people who are hard on you, who see more in you than you see in yourself. So people are hard on you because they want to pull the best out of you. Does that make sense? Yeah. How? Okay, explain. No. It doesn't make sense? If anyone, coach-wise, thinks a girl or an athlete is capable of winning first place, they're going to be hard on that person, and they're going to remind them every single time, point your toes, lock out your legs, lock out your arms. You know what I mean? Stick your landings because they know that they're capable. And if you want to keep winning, which isn't everything, you got to have fun with it, you know? But if you want to keep winning, you got to allow people to be hard on you. You got to allow people to push you and set these high expectations. But at the end of the day, you got to set those expectations for yourself as well, okay? Okay. Are you hard on yourself or no? Mm-hmm. How? I like pushing myself to do something hard. Like what? What's something, I know something that you push yourself on. You push yourself on, I said, Jaden, do a press handstand the other day. And you did a press handstand, but then you dropped down and yeah. then you went for what? For again, and I did two press handstands. That's my girl. That's what I'm talking about, okay? So you pushed yourself. You were hard on yourself there. You see what I mean? But you got to be hard on yourself. You got to be, think of it as discipline. Whenever we say be hard, think the word discipline. Do you know what discipline means? No. Discipline means that you do it no matter what. You make sure that you do it right no matter what. No excuses. Hey, my foot was flexed. No excuse for that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point my toe every single time. I'm going to make sure that I hit all the steps. We can't remind you every single time because whenever you go out and compete, it's all Jaden. Okay? okay? you got to push yourself. Nobody's going to be up there yelling, Jaden, point your toes. Lock out your legs. Hold that handstand, Jaden. Jaden, run on the ball. Like nobody's going to be screaming. You got to be disciplined. You got to be, what does discipline mean? Like telling yourself what to do. Yes, you tell yourself so nobody else has to tell you, okay? If somebody wants it more than you, it's never going to work out. Kind of like with stunting. If we do a really hard stunt and I'm really trying to hit it and you're just not all there, you're not trying to hit the stunt, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work until you decide you want to make it happen, okay? You want to tell them what happened this weekend? Yeah. What? I got four medals and I got all around champion. You got four medals. Did you get a first place medal? Three first place medals. You got three first place medals on yes. what events? Beam, floor, bars. And that's it. Yes. But what happened on vault? I was running slow. You're running slow. Mm -hmm. Why were you running slow on vault? I thought the whole point of vault was to run fast. <laughs> Are you going to start running fast? Yeah. You want to get fourth place again? No. I'm very proud of you, Mama. Good job getting first place. But hey, I want to give you a high five on that fourth place too, okay? Don't think that you did bad on vault. Just know that you have room for improvement because you scored, you still scored a 9.1, which is up there, Mama. Your goal was to score all nines. You did that, okay? Your goal wasn't to win all around. Don't go into it trying to score a perfect 10. You go into it and just be as disciplined as possible. Don't worry about the score. It'll all work out in your favor in the long run. I love to see improvement, but you gotta understand what you're working for. It's not always just working for winning. It's working to be the best Jaden, okay? okay? Keep that in mind. You promise you're gonna be disciplined? I'm proud of you, Mom. Give my big hug. They kept calling your name for first place. 
Like what? They said, and in first place, Jaden Pollard. Boom. Everybody goes, and then they sat down, and he was like, in first place, Jaden Pollard. Boom. And then he was like, in first place. It was like, I was like, let's go, Jaden. But then whenever he said all, he kept calling you Jordan, though. He kept saying Jordan Pollard. I was like, get my daughter's name right. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm proud of you, mama. Hey, keep scoring big, okay? Keep working hard. You be disciplined. You think you know what discipline means? All right. You have a bright future ahead of you, okay? Don't let anybody out-discipline you. Don't, let, don't ever let anybody outwork you. And if you want it bad enough, if you truly want it bad enough, you know how to make it happen, okay? okay. Keep my big hug. Keep working hard. Thank you for watching all my videos. Say thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the support. You know what support is? No. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We're going to save that for another time. But basically, support is whenever you have people believing.